Hi, today I thought we'd do some wet and wet painting because I want to show you how to do a lovely soft blue sky. Right, a couple of things you need to know first of all. This is the type of thing we're going to be doing. Um, it's quite soft but we live in the UK so we have clouds. Um, so but first of all, very important um, as we're doing clouds that you realise one thing. This, for a start, this is not what clouds like. They don't look like little sheep in the sky. Now, you may laugh, but I've seen that many times. So we don't want to do that. So we'll get rid of that. Right, so this is what you have to understand with clouds. You, The big clouds um, you must have at the top of the paper in the zenith of the sky. And as you go down, you um, find that the clouds get... I'll hold it up. <laughs> the clouds get flatter and flatter. And at the bottom, they're just sort of streaks. Um, it's important that you understand clouds have a flat bottom as well. So you've got to bear that one in mind. So we think of that. Now, the easiest thing to do is to actually go out and take a photograph of a sky. It's impossible to paint a sky unless you're looking at one. So here, you are. this is a photograph I took of a blue sky. And this is what I was saying. Look, big clouds at the top, flat bottomed. And as they go down to the bottom of the sky, um, they get flatter. Also bear in mind the colour. Can you see the blue at the top there? Much darker and much cooler in colour than the horizon. We need to give a warm horizon to get this sense of perspective. Right, so that's what we're going to be painting. Hopefully we'll end up with something like that. Um, it does take a while for a sky to kind of cook, so um, the best thing to do is to paint it, then go and have a cup of tea, and when you come back it'll be beautiful. Um, otherwise you're going to sit there and fiddle with it. Right, let's go straight in. This is wet on wet. I've mixed up some colours first. Ultramarine blue, um, which is a, a kind of a cool blue, and also cerulean blue, which is a warmer blue. Um, you can either paint them separately, because you can see there's more ultramarine blue at the top and cerulean there, or you can just put them together. You want a bit of shadow colour, that's ultramarine blue and burnt sienna on the bluey side. And this is quite important to get your horizon. We're actually going to paint the horizon first. So let's just go in a minute. So... Um, Let's wet the paper. Now you want it damp. These brushes are great, these um cake brushes. Um so you've just got a nice damp sky. Depends on your own choice what you want to paint with. You can either use a flat brush or a round brush. That's if I'm painting a big piece of paper, a little bit bigger than this. So I'm quite happy with a round brush, and that'll probably do for this. Right, let's go straight in. So this is, I've mixed up a bit ultramarine and um, cerulean blue, and I'm just gonna try and paint this. And you just go really quickly in with it. Lots of color at the top, yeah, splosh it in. Um, you can see there's more color. I said, I'm, I'm gonna try and paint vaguely the sky, but it's not gonna be exactly that. But I've left this space where the cloud is there. So basically what I'm doing, I'm painting the sky, but I'm, I'm just painting around the clouds. So we've got something going on here and something going on there. I'm leaving this bit here. And as you can see, as I get down to the bottom, um, this is where I'm going to put in that warmth bit. That's the bit the, of the warm, um, but the horizon of the sky, which is um, very, very dilute raw sienna. So I just put a bit of colour on that. If you get things like that, don't worry. All right, so I've got something to start off with like that. Now, while that's um, cooking, you've also got to put in a bit of cloud. So I've mixed up um, ultramarine blue and a bit of burnt sienna to give me a kind of a cloudy colour. Now, um, shadows cradle the clouds, so you don't put them flat like that. You want to kind of go in and cradle them. Again, don't worry too much this stage. Just soften that a bit. If it gets a bit hard, just soften it with a bit of water. Um, and then cradle. What tends to happen with skies, and at first you put them in and they look a bit harsh, but as it dries, they soften. So I'm just putting in a bit of that, a bit stronger stuff at the horizon. Now this is the important bit. While that's just doing its own thing, get a piece of um, kitchen roll. We're not going to do that. You're going to make, this is dry kitchen roll, you're going to make yourself a finger a finger of kitchen roll, because what you're going to do before it dries, can you see what tends to happen? I'm losing the top, so I'm just going to push. Um, I'm not putting my hand anywhere near this. I'm just using the kitchen roll, and I'm just pushing back into the wet paint, and it's going to give me that lovely fluffy top. And again, anywhere where I feel it's gone a bit 
sharp or if the feel is going to get a dry edge I can just soften that and then the best thing to do now is to go away and have a cup of tea and whatever you do and this is really important don't get a brush if you find there's a fly or a piece of hair don't go back into that if you go back into that you'll get one of those horrible tied backs if there's any discrepancy any little blemish leave it until it's dry and then you can just flick it out there you are your lovely blue soft sky thank you for watching bye